Trade offer. You get to take your exam. I get your identity, your passwords, and any other identifiable information. Do you accept? Wait, why would you accept that deal? That's an awful off- Good morning, all. Parker here. Online exams are the exams of the future! At least, that's how they're presented to be. All the time, I hear my professors talk about how these exams are more convenient for students since they can take it whenever they want. And in that sense, yes, they're very convenient. But we're not looking at the full picture. Take Honor Lock, for example. When you take an exam from them, you need to show your face, your ID, and a full scan of your room. Afterward, they'll record you and your screen for the entirety of the exam. After taking an exam, the software uses the videos recorded in order to find those devious forms of cheating, like resizing your browser window, or making 776 head and eye movements in the span of 6 minutes. I mean, what are you looking at? Ignore that. With so much data being sent to these companies in order to access this exam, this raises the question of safety. Can I safely take this exam without my ID just getting stolen? A majority of people will approach these services in a state of optimism bias. The idea of underestimating the likelihood of a negative event occurring. And you can see where these people are coming from. After all, when's the last time a major online exam proctoring service had a data breach? For those guessing, that would be 2020. In 2020, Proctor U suffered a data breach, revealing the information of over 400,000 users. The information accessible through the leaked database includes full names, emails, phone numbers, and home addresses. Essentially, we've got just enough information to commit identity theft! In all seriousness, this form of online exams is not safe, and in many ways it's more harmful than it is good. So, what can you do about it? If you're a student, talk to your instructor. Make your concerns clear that you cannot trust these services and you would rather take the exam in an alternate setting. And if you're a professor, PLEASE don't use these services. If it must be done online, consider having humans proctor the exam through Zoom, or just enforce a time limit on an open note online exam. No matter who you are though, your safety is important. And one thing you can do to protect yourself is to avoid these services altogether. Or, you know, hypothetically, STOP DOING EXAMS!